Welcome back to Just Scribble. Today we are going to do a quick little unboxing of this order from Chic Sparrow. This is my Dormouse from the Carol Collection. I ordered it at the launch and I've actually had this package for a couple of weeks now. I hadn't had a chance to unbox it with you guys because I haven't had a chance to film because work has been absolutely crazy. But I wanted to get in a couple of quick videos just to share some things with you guys and also give myself a little bit of a break from work. And so I'm going to do a few quick unboxings this week just to share some things with you guys and get some content out on my channel. And so the first one that I'm doing is this unboxing from Chic Sparrow because it is the thing that I've had the longest. So this is a passport from the Carol collection in the Dormouse leather. That is the most recent launch of this collection. The next thing that is gonna come out is Snark, which is kind of a funky greenish, grayish blue color. I will be ordering one of those as well, but this one is Dormouse. And so we are going to open it up. I got another one of the cute little sparrows with her Lewis on it. It's so cute. I have enough of them now. I think I might actually use one because I tend to hoard my Chic Sparrow stickers. And then I got the little postcard that also has a Lewis on it in the Colonel Brandon leather, which is absolutely gorgeous. And it just talks about the natural imperfections of full grain leather. The only other thing else in this envelope is my order. And I did not put any order notes or anything like that. So we're just going to set that aside and we are going to unbox my Dormouse. Oh, I'm so excited. It has like a mole on it. I love, I love when leather has unique markings on it. I just love how it shows the true beauty of the animal and what it's been through and the uniqueness of each animal. So I actually have a couple of little moles and discolorations, which, oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So this is my Dormouse. The if you saw the blog or the newsletter when they were announcing the launch of Dormouse, they kind of compared the color of this to like the mud at the edge of a river or a stream that ran through a forest kind of thing. To me, it reminds me of chocolate milk. That is what it reminds me of. Every time I look at it, I think about Nestle Quick. I don't know why, I just do. And I think it's absolutely yummy. It is a very different brown color and I'm super happy to have it in my collection. This one has some little scarring and then look at this gorgeous mole right here. I love that. And there's some color variations. There's some little freckles and skin color variations over here as well. And then there's actually this section here, if you can see that, where the animal looks like it had been grabbed by some barbed wire and it left a little bit of scarring on there. I love things like that because this was an animal and I like to honor it by sharing and showing and showcasing the impurities that it got in its life. And all of us are very unique and we have different markings and scars and blemishes and freckles and things like that. And so I enjoy the differences in the different leathers. The inside is pretty straightforward. There's really not much to it as far as coloration. This leather is really, really pretty. It has a little bit of a pull up you can see there but not super super strong but if you were to roll your leather you would get some of that it is light but it still has some structure i really like this collection i'm super excited about snark but march hair is the last piece of this collection and that is the one that i'm the most excited about because it is really in my wheelhouse and it is a little bit different because it has a sort of suede texture on it but I am super excited about this one as well. And I'm so glad that I got a piece with some unique markings on it. Oh, I love it. Super, super excited. That is my quick little unboxing. I just wanted to unbox this with you guys, give you guys my thoughts on my passport. I will be doing a video, probably not for another couple of weeks, moving into one of my passports for the month of October. And then I'm going to do different ones each month as I move into different passports. I have been using my zipper wallet from Chic Sparrow most of this year because of COVID and the fact that we just really weren't going anywhere. But I have been back at work since the beginning of May and because of things, some things coming up in October for Inktober and then also some things for Christmas that I have planned. I want to definitely be back in my passports for my wallet and a sort of 
everyday carry notebook option for myself. And so I will be moving into a different one for each month for the rest of the year, starting with October. And so I will do videos with you guys for that because I will most likely change out the elastic for whichever one that I choose. And then I will show you the setup with the dashboards and all of that. Maybe we'll make some dashboards together as well. But that is my little unboxing of my Chic Sparrow Dormouse. I'm super excited about this and glad to have it in my collection of passports. If you have any questions about this leather, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will definitely get back with you. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss future videos because I do have a lot of stuff planned through the rest of the year. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you liked this quick little unboxing and don't forget to just scribble.